Hey guys, welcome back at DC Engineering Tutorials. So in this series, we're going to discuss topics on structural theory. So first topic that we're going to discuss is about degrees of freedom and the type of supports. In structural analysis, the term uh, the term degrees of freedom is extremely important yet often misunderstood. So, degrees of freedom refers to six possible movements that can occur at a point and whether or not these movements are free to move or restrained. In general, the direction that a joint can move or translate or rotate is called a degree of freedom. It is labeled as DOF in short. Therefore, a joint can have a maximum of six degrees of freedom three of which is in translation and three are in rotation. So if a degree of freedom is restrained by a support from translation or rotation, a force or moment is applied on the support on the structure or it is known as support reaction. So one has to note that rotation is always about the x-axis, about an axis, and to know about which axis the rotation occurs, if one use, uses his or her hand to show the rotation, the thumb represents the direction of the rotational axis. So first, what are the six degrees of freedom? So let's picture uh, any object, so let's say an airplane that is suspended in space. So we have six degrees of freedom, we have the translational degrees of freedom, we have the x, y, and z translation, and we have also the rotational degrees of freedom. We have the x, y, and z rotation. So in x direction, it means that an object is free to move along its x direction. So it could be left or right. In y translation, it means that an object is free to move along its y direction. So it could be up or down. While in z translation, an object is free to move along its z direction, so it could be to move forward or backward. For the x rotation, it means that an object is free to rotate about its x axis. And y rotation, it means that an object is free to rotate about its y axis. And Z rotation, it means that an object is free to rotate about its Z axis. So how it works? Shown here are all six degrees of freedom. Three translational degrees of freedom and three rotational degrees of freedom. Let's go to the types of supports. So this is one of the application of degrees of freedom. So in the degrees of freedom, we have uh, restraint codes for support. No? So uh, an example representing the 60 groups, uh, six degrees of freedom is by a six character code. Uh, comprises of combination of fix and release F and R. So one type of support is we have hinge support. So pin or hinge support is used when we need to prevent the structure from moving or restrain its translational degrees of freedom. So most support for architectural structure structures except concrete structures are of this type. So, when used for spatial uh, structures, these supports have three reactions. However, there are only two reactions in two-dimensional structures. So, the restraint codes or the six uh, character code for the six degrees of freedom is we have uh, fix, fix, fix. So, this is for translational degrees of freedom. So, it is fixed uh, along its... Uh, X translation, it is fixed along its Y translation, it is fixed along its Z translation, uh, it is also fixed in X rotation, fixed in 
y rotation and it is being released in z rotation so it is free to move uh, about its z axis so example of hinge support is are this one so that's the first one and the second one is this one so this is a hinge or a pin support So, for the hinge support, we have uh, only one degrees of freedom, which is donated by R. And in roller support, so this type of support which only restrains the structure from moving in one or two perpendicular direction. However, the structure can move in other three direction and it can also rotate. So, the joint that is supported by a roller support has 4 or 5 degrees of freedom. So, the restraint code for the roller support is donated by a 6 character code for 6 degrees of freedom. So, it is being released in the X direction. So, it means that it can move along its X axis. Okay, it can move along its X axis. And it is being fixed and fixed for uh, y and Z translation and this being released for X, Y and Z rotation so it, it can rotate really along uh, X, Y and Z axis so, so aside from roller we have also uh, rocker no? so, such as shown in this figure so the only difference is uh, the bottom and for the roller is we have this one so as you see and this one so as you observe here we have a uh, uh, R, 4 R's, so it means that it has 4 degrees of freedom. So, it has also 5 degrees of freedom. So, example is this one. So, except of, uh, instead of cylindrical drums, and you will use the wheels, so, such as shown. So the 6 degrees of freedom will become RFR. So it is being released also in the Z direction. And also R. No? So the only support reaction that we can get here is the FY. No? So that's why we have fix in the 6 degrees of freedom. So as long as there are fix in the 6 degrees of freedom, it means that... Uh, uh, it has a support reaction for example uh, fix at y direction so it means it has support reaction along y axis next is the fixed support so fixed support prevents all the movement and rotation at the the point where it is attached to the structure the joint with fixed support has no degrees of freedom and therefore there are six support reaction applied from the support to the structures so the restraint code for the fixed support using the six character code for the six degrees of freedom we have fix 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 so this is for x y and z translation and fix 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 for x y and z rotation so uh, there is no r or release in the fixed support therefore it has no degrees of freedom so example of that are in the concrete structures uh, monolithic construction eh? so the footing and the connections are in fixed support. Uh, 
Okay, so see you next time. Thanks for watching.